What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And this is my new three-piece pack out. Organizer, modular, storage system. Scored it for $174 and even got a free hoodie with it from Milwaukee. An unbelievable deal. And if you never want to miss an unbelievable deal like that on pack out, then make sure you tap the bell because they don't happen often. And when they do happen, they sell out quick. You know what's great about this pack out storage system? It's modularity. I mean, you could add on different boxes. You could put bags on here. But what we're talking about today is the new Packout M18. It's brushless fuel. No, it's just the M18 radio charger. It integrates with the Packout storage system. I'm fired up. I know you're going to be fired up. We've only heard this at MPS for 2019 at Milwaukee's new project symposium. And that's the only place we've seen it until now. This radio charger has 10 speakers built into it. 10, count them 10. It's got four tweeters or, or highs, four mids, and then two subwoofers. This is a radio solution to have the job site pumping. Here's the deal. It's heavy. I mean, it's still in the box. But it's a good thing Packout's on wheels. You're going to want to integrate this thing and roll, the, roll it onto the job site with the wheels because it's heavy. No doubt about it. I wanted to get that out of the way. It's product number 295020. It is Bluetooth capable, plus you can either plug it into the wall, of course you would have to plug it into the wall if you're going to charge your batteries, which you can run this radio charger off of as well. But if you're running it on batteries, you can't charge a battery. Okay, just so you know. Just so we're clear here. Once the Packout radio chargers on your Packout system, you can still put more organizers or bags on top of the radio. Another good feature about the, the radio is even if you have other solutions packed on top, everything to do with the radio is still accessible. Okay, So there's not going to be a compartment up here or on the bottom that you can't get to. It's got 360 degree sound. It's impact resistant and water and debris resistant. This is the deal. I guess uh, they preferred, Milwaukee Tool preferred to go with a Bluetooth certification instead of an IP rating because they're not giving us from what I can see an IP rating with this this radio charger. Subwoofer and passive radiator delivers powerful low-end sound. Tweeters and full range speakers deliver clear mids and trebles. It does have a USB connection. It's rated at 2.1 amps or is it 2.1 USB 2.1? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments section because, quite frankly, when we get into all those USB specifications and their amps and how much they, how fast they charge, it's like way beyond my, you know what I mean? It's like way beyond my level of, of comprehension. I'm sure somebody in the comments section is an expert on those ratings and specifications and you can shed some light on the subject. Whoa! I guess this is going to be like a setup video as well. You got your instructions, you got two batteries, potentially these two little AAA batteries are to keep time on the clock, and it has a three millimeter radio or stereo jack. This is the reality of it. If you wanted to use this aux input, you had like an older iPod or something of that nature, MP3, you could potentially use this cord, but nowadays, iPhones and, and a lot of Google phones like this Pixel, they don't have, there is no way to plug these in unless you're using a US, you know, USB type C or a lightning adapter. So just be mindful of that. Oh yeah. Does it make it lighter? Not particularly. I mean, it, it's, this, is, this is a heavy radio. You'll see under here, these are the tabs that allow this to integrate into 
effortlessly into your pack out. Boom, and now it's integrated. Pretty cool. The good part is, is that you're able to roll in and out of the job, not worry about your radio falling off. I will tell you this much, once it's on the boxes, it doesn't seem nearly as heavy. I think it weighs in right around 25 pounds. Pretty, it's not, it's not lightweight. Let's get it back off of our stack here, our three-piece stack. All you have to do to make that happen is lift up here on this button. I know what some of you are saying. I know how to get it off of my pack out. I just want to see how it sounds and blah, blah, blah. Well, we know you know, but some people here are shopping for other people, maybe a loved one, maybe for the holiday. They want to know how it goes on and gets off. So don't be selfish, okay? We're going to push the button up. Boom, it slides right off. Once it's off, we can see we have our power cord all bundled up real nice on our supplied reel hook thing. It's not really a reel, but you know what I'm you know what I mean. Let's not get too technical. We've got a bottle opener, pretty cool. I dig that. Because if you're going to be using a radio, a lot of times you're going to be drinking beverages. And some beverages might require a bottle opener. Not everything is twist off or, you know, pull tab. We just flip it around again. We have our antenna, which is pretty cool. And I will say this, very flexible. So you don't have to worry about that thing snapping off. I'm sure some of you over time will snap it off. It is what it is. Our speaker grills, nice and sturdy. I feel like we got hit with a little false advertisement. Okay, I could be wrong, but we have four, one, two, three, four, one in each corner, pair of mid and highs. At the back here, we have a, our sub, which it's not really, I mean, it's not that, you know, whatever, it's a sub. And then what we have over here is, it's the shape of a sub. Here's the deal. It's not a speaker. It's, it's a passive radiator. Okay? It, it, it complements that sub, okay? but it's not really a speaker. So in reality, we have two, four, six, eight, nine speakers, not ten. Milwaukee, if you're watching, correct me if I'm wrong. <sighs> but that's what it seems to me. Over here we have our battery compartment. You'll see in here we're able to charge a battery. We have connection for USB and we have our aux in. What batteries can you power this thing with or charge? Well, I'll assume there's no reason why you can't power it with a Red Lithium 2.0 in the M18 platform should be fine, but I know a lot of you want to know, can you charge and power this unit with a 12.0 or is it too big? No problem at all, no problem at all. There's even some space. Maybe if they pump it up to 14, 16, 20, I don't know, you know, maybe it'll go wider, I have no clue. But for now, you'll have no problem with the 12. This probably would be a good spot to store your aux port or your aux cord. Okay, you could either store it in the compartment, leave it plugged in, you know, I don't know. You don't want to lose it, I know that much. The good part is, is that you can also use this little side slot to store your USB cable that you're gonna plug in. You can then slide your device into that slot for safekeeping. You don't have to worry about your smart device getting damaged on the job. It's inside your pack out radio charger. Pretty cool. See that little compartment? That's where those AAA batteries go. That's pretty funny. Some of you have asked, did they just take the innards, you know, like the gizzard and the neck, out of the bird here, the old radio charger, and just put them into this pack out configuration 
add a couple extra doodads, like, you know, speakers and stuff? Let us know down in the comments section below. Do you want us to have, like, a side-by-side -side sound off between the old radio charger and the new Packout radio charger? Quite frankly, that old radio charger sounds magnificent. But I will say this. The new antenna is better than the old antenna. Definitely, this is more flexible. But the last question is, who listens to AM, FM radio anymore anyway, really? Right now, there's some, there's some old timer yelling at the, at the screen. I listen to talk radio all day on the job. What are you talking about, whippersnapper? Young kids don't know what they're missing. That's what, is that what's going on? That's, I think that's what's going on right now. I could be wrong, though. I'm going to tighten down my little battery hatch. I'm using my Milwaukee Gen 2. This is the M12 fuel impact driver to do the task. And I will say this. What's very disappointing about this radio charger is it won't charge these batteries. Kind of stinks. Because these tools, the M12 platform, you'll find them on a lot of job sites. If you have a job site, you probably are gonna to wanna to have a job site radio. What happened there, Milwaukee? Now, some of you are saying, I can't charge my M12 batteries. It's a deal breaker. I got a solution for you. All you gotta do to charge these M12 batteries with your pack out radio is spend the extra 40 or 50 bucks on this USB power supply adapter, okay? All you gotta do is plug in your M12 battery. This USB cable is supplied. All you gotta do is, is spend the 50 bucks. You're gonna get this nice Milwaukee USB cable. You're gonna plug it in to your, your USB power supply. You put your M12 battery in there. Boom. And then you plug in to your USB port. Boom. Look at that. And you could close it up. If it's plugged into the wall, you could close it up. Here's the, here's the hack, though. Here's the hack. Will this, if it's being powered by a battery, charge your M12 battery? Let's find out. We have our 12 amp hour battery. Let's plug it in to our radio charger. So when we turn the radio charger on, it enables the USB port to charge. So the radio has to be on. Now, you can see our smart device is charging. Let's see if our, our M12 hack, I know what some of you are thinking right now. I mean, that's genius. It's unbelievable. And this could potentially get you out of a, out of a jam if you needed to charge your M12 battery. And in fact, it will. You see that? Our charge is lit. So your M18 Packout compatible radio charger will charge an M12 battery. It just takes a couple of extra accessories. I'm gonna get my extension cord. I'm gonna feed it underneath here. And we're gonna plug that pack in radio out. We're gonna plug that pack out radio in. <laughs> Boom. Now, you'll see our, our 12 amp hour battery, that's what's in here, okay? It's, it's, fully, it's fully charged. We have the green, the green light. Now, if we had a discharged battery, like this two amp hour, as soon as we pop it in, we'll get the red light to show that the charger is working. There is only one charger slot for an M18 battery on this Packout radio. When the radio charger is plugged in, will that USB port be active because it has power to the unit? Is, is the USB turning off a power saving measure for battery power? Let's, let's find out. Yes. Yes, it is. 
It's pretty, pretty, I will tell you that much. That's pretty, not a bad thing, right? Let's just confirm that. I'm going to take my battery out, okay? You see the charge light went off. We're still plugged into wall power, and that USB charging port is still active. Pretty cool. Now, one of the good things is, like I said earlier, we're able to put more pack out box solutions on top of the radio charger. And when we do that, there's nothing that we would need to access that becomes unexpected unaccessible. Everything is still accessible. At this point, I figured we fumble through together and try to get the clock set. What do you think? The time here is 3.39 p.m. So let's hold clock. Three. Oh boy, I don't like that. All right, so here's the deal. You have to, it looks as though you have to cycle through a.m. and p.m. There's no way to just switch AM to PM. You have to pass the noon hour. Is that a deal breaker? Well, if it is for you, you are one picky person. All right, so our time is set now. I will say this, that's AM. That's some good sound and static. Now, my question is, is the static a product of the batteries being charged in this compartment over here, or is that just static from it being AM radio? I don't know. Let's unplug these batteries and find out. Because a lot of radios could fall victim to chargers that are close by. Have you ever been listening to a standard job site radio or something that's not a intended job site radio, just a regular AM FM radio or something of the sort, and you plugged in that radio into the same wall outlet as a charger. You can't tune in the radio. It doesn't work. It creates a lot of static. Let's see if that's the issue here. So we unplugged our M12 battery. We unplugged our M18 battery. So it's not, it's not the charger that's the issue let's extend our antenna that's pretty funny it's a great observation by Nick the tone did change not that time it doesn't give it a second. Wow how about we tune in a station and see if that makes a difference? Let's put on news radio. KYW, news radio. Whoa, 1060. Let's plug in a battery, see if that changes. So we do have a little bit of a change on AM radio. Ugh. It's not good, right? For some of you that like to listen to AM radio on the job site, that may be a deal breaker. I personally don't listen to AM radio. But here's the deal. Why have AM radio? on a radio charger if the charger makes the AM radio sound worse than it, than it normally does. Like, I don't, that doesn't make sense. All right, we're gonna swap over to FM. We're gonna try to find talk radio on, on FM. Singer. Jack was a big Sugar Ray fan back in the day, right? They had all those hits where they have uh, Fly. Yeah, Fly was the big one. And then uh, whatever else they had. Anyway. Um, so he, and by the way, I, just listen to the video. We took a short piece of it. So somebody hires him to break. I will say this. It's talk radio. It's crystal clear. There's no doubt about it. 
and even me moving to the rear of the radio, it's still crystal clear. Really sounds impressive. She wants you to know a few things, and this is a little difficult for me to say because it's the first one of these I've done, but she wants you to know that you mean a lot to her. You mean the world to her, but she's having difficulty staying in this long distance relationship. Now, it is just talk radio, but I'm not hearing any, and this was set all the way up. I'm not hearing any popping, no hissing, nothing. Pretty impressive for talk radio. But let's see if that changes when we plug in batteries. Probably not the best timing, Cheyenne, when he's doing his thesis, but I understand, you know, you gotta work on your thesis and life goes on and, um, you know, I'm sure there's big things ahead of you in the future, Braden. All right, so there it is. By the way, this is so I hear no audible difference when plugging in the battery, which is good. I'm gonna plug in my smart device via USB here, which will make, make it charge, okay? But does that mean, I don't believe that it does, that it's connected through aux? I don't believe that it, that it does. I think it will just charge. There's no data transfer. So this is all of us by Erexis or something. Let's see what happens. So, I will tell you this much, Pixel sounds pretty good, but it is not transmitting through our USB cable. So we'll have to connect through Bluetooth. Go to Bluetooth, we're gonna hit our button here to pair available media devices shows up. We're gonna tap, pack out radio, boom, it came up active. That was easy. Okay, now that they're paired, let's see about playing a song. Sounds crystal clear. No interference from a charging battery. I mean, we're in a pretty expansive space here. And we're at half volume. Volume wire, the voice is set all the way up. Volume on the radio is set all the way up. I mean, it sounds really good. It's, it's not so loud though that I, you know, I can't think. Let's see if we can change that. All right, we're gonna cycle through the equalizer, see if we can make this a little louder. I will say, say, I'm not, like the, the volume, I'm not blown away by, but it is crystal clear. Sounds beautiful. See if we get a little more bass out of it though. Definitely thumping. I'm gonna back it down one. Got a little treble. Let's go. I will say what's pretty awesome is the controls on the radio through Bluetooth will control your device. So we can skip forward, we can go back, and we can pause and play. So if there's a time where you need to turn the radio down to get someone's attention, or if there's an emergency or something of that nature, you can, you can hit pause, stop your device, 
Okay, and if, when it's time to go back to work and you want to get the mood up, you just hit play. So that's about it. We got it unboxed. We got the time set. We showed you how to go through the modes. We let you know how it sounds. I think that uh, Milwaukee, it's a little bit uh, of a stretch to say it's got like a fully functioning EQ and all. You have treble and you have bass, which is, is pretty cool. And it definitely does let you customize the radio to your liking. It's a plus. And if you like having pluses and customizability when you're spending $299 on a radio charger and then smash the like button. Also, let us know down in the comment section below, what do you think about the pack out radio? Do you like it? Do you want it? Do you hate it? Do you think it should have some other bells and whistles it doesn't have already? Leave it down in the comment section below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one where we do with this radio what you want us to do. Do you want us to do some charge tests with this? Do you want us to put it up against maybe a different radio charger? Maybe the old M18 radio charger. Leave them down below. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.